Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel 2007 Sprinter equipped with OM642 engine and I was working on that famous engine oil cooler leak so that's all taken care of I'm putting the baby back together and I have to show you I made while removing the turbo that entire assembly with those pipes underneath it I must have damaged the fuel pressure sensor which is on the rail <laughs> excuse me it's freaking cold here so this is the fuel rail which is on the passenger side and there is the fuel sensor which is straight if you look at it and that's what was hanging down unfortunately so I'm like oh my god I must have leaned the weight of the turbo when I was pulling it out the pipes I must have touched it I'm not sure Here you can see the other rail and this fuel pressure sensor is L-shaped. So I'm not talking about this one. I'm on the driver's side with this. And for 2007, 2008 and 2009, this is how the sensor looks like. There will be no gasket. This is the replacement part. So I made a mistake, I slipped or I don't know what I did and this part is not cheap. It's like $180, $190 depending from where you will buy it. Now that is not fun, it's unfortunate, it's a 3 pin connector inside, I can show you the connector in the vehicle. This is the three pin which is in the back. So it's right there. If you will try to buy this from Mercedes Benz, they will say tell you no, we don't sell this anymore. We will sell you the whole rail and that will cost you eleven hundred dollars. So at the end I was very happy that I was able to purchase this part. It was still available. I got it from ID Parts online and this is what he sent me. So that sensor it's obviously electronic unit. I would love to give you a glimpse of inside. This bunch of electronics inside. This is the part where you can see what fell apart. The plastic was pressed on. I didn't see any way how to put this together. These connectors are on this side. So this is how it looked. Unfortunately I must have damaged that. So let's, re let's go remove it and put a new one on. I believe it's 27 millimeter. So let's see how tight it is on. I'm assuming it will be really tight. Hmm. That's the problem. I don't want to break the rail or bend it. Okay, it was pretty tight. Not super hardcore. I was just afraid to bend this part or break the even the weld so as we said hopefully I said it there's no any gasket here if there is any washer it will be inside let me give you the look inside so this is where the seal is being achieved it's not on that outer rim but inside there so I have thoroughly cleaned it inside there's no any gasket or anything so it will be sealing right here I 
shall take the new one and unfold. Okay, somebody did share that it should be torqued to 70 newton meters, 70, which probably I will probably say yeah. That sounds like the torque which I, which I just used to remove it. So here is the 27 deep. I just want to make sure I don't damage that plastic. But it seems to be clearly staying off it. Yeah. I have this snap-on big baby torque wrench set. Now let's see what will be 70 newton meters. See how close I am. Oh, did you hear that? Yep, here we are, 70 newton meters. So let's see if I bend it this or damage it. I hope not. Oh, yeah, it seems to be still straight like the other one. If I look at it, yep, but it's scary. I was afraid to break the welt or something on it. If you look at it, right? You, I will not grab the whole pipe. I rather hold it on this. So it's a little bit scary working on those, but seems to be in, it's installed correctly. I don't expect any leaks from it, and hopefully it's original Bosch part. So it will be perfectly working again. This is for, as we discussed, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. That sensor is already different design and it has different connector. I believe it's more narrow. So always pay attention to those details. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure you are subscribed because I will always have more videos about these diesel Mercedes products coming your way soon. Oh, here you can see the plug, how it's closed on the other side. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend. Here you can see the whole rail installed. That's that new sensor in the back with that three pin connector. All right. And now I can go ahead and start dealing with different problem. This is older vehicle, 209,000 miles. Things are falling apart. This is my plug, so the coolant is not leaking all over. But you see the cork here because that T from Mercedes, that plastic, completely fell apart. These are interesting clamps. They have no visible belt or anything. They are not adjustable like this one. So I have to replace this broken part, a chunk of plastic with some aftermarket stuff. I don't want to be ordering three hoses and stuff like that from Mercedes and waiting for that again.